And so it's called conditional formatting. And you have to actually create a little formula, but and it's it's on the internet. It's like when you go looking, how do I make it every other? They call it zebra striping. If you if you ever use Google Docs, they they, they have a for, they have a program called zebra striping. You click that and it makes your, your sheet. But here you actually have to build it yourself. So you go into conditional formatting and new, and we are going to use a formula. And what this is going to do is it's going to do division. It's going to figure out what row number it's on, and it's going to divide and see if there's a remainder or not. So I'm going to divide it by two. If there's a remainder, I'm going to have it uh, turn to a color. If there's not a remainder, I'm, it's going to stay white. It's basically what happens. And so it's equals, i got to think, uh, mod row comma two parentheses equals zero. So what this says is mod, this is the, the short for modulo, which is basically remainder when we do division. Um, we're going to take the row number, and so it has just open and close parentheses. So it's going to look and find out what row number it's in. Uh, divide it by two, and if it's zero, I'm going to do a format. I'll make it, and this usually takes a couple of seconds. This is the one thing that like, takes forever. I don't know why. <laughs> uh, I'm going to change the fill color to, what color do you like? You like gray? OK. But it doesn't show up so well. On the, I'm going to go with a, a blue, a nice dark blue. Uh, we'll go with a lighter blue here. OK. And I'm going to have to, yeah, they didn't highlight all the cells that I needed, so. Um, At any time, yeah, you can do this at any time. Uh, manage. Well, you'd have to do that before. You'd have to do that before, though, because if you have data in there, you'll overwrite the data. So. What this has done is it said, oh, you can do this is for when you, for afterwards, really. Like if you go, oh, gee, I want to have this. And the other thing is, because usually it has, you have stuff that you want to do, you know, near the end, you want to keep dragging it down through. And so you can then just go in and change the conditional formatting. But I mean, I can send you this, I'll send you this, this formula to put it in there so you can do that at any time when you want to do this. But it's just really going to conditional formatting, highlighting, highlight the, the cells that you want the, to be formatted. Then you go to conditional formatting. I'll give you the, 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 that formula that you can just paste in, pick a color, and it will fill down through all the stuff that you want. And so now when I type over it, you know, it doesn't, it's already been affected. It doesn't, have any, it doesn't notice that anything's going in there because it's looking at the rows. The other thing that happens when you do the, the filling down, if you insert a row, you then have to do it all over again. Whereas here, if I insert a row, it does it automatically. And if I delete a row, it does it automatically because it's readjusting that information because it's, it, it's, it's looking and saying, oh, I have a new condition. Let me fix it. And so that's the nice thing about this is that it will, will take care of that piece instantly as opposed to if I have you know, highlighted before and after and I insert something, it usually either comes out all yellow. If I make things yellow, it will come out yellow or it will come out white depending on what it was below. And then I have to go, all right, now I have to do it all over again. And it, I, used, I went through that many times at first until I came across this condition. I said, there's got to be a way to do this. And I think, think it took me like four years to go, I've had enough of that. I'm going to find a way. And you know, then conditional formatting was available. So I was like, yay! It almost be worth just saving, creating once and saving a blank Oh, definitely. It's always, that, that's always a, a great thing to have. And then you could say, just use this whenever you start. You know, and you know, and you can then again change how wide it has to be and how long it has to be. You know, it's like you know, we usually assume things are going to be you know ten rows wide. You know, but you know maybe our papers you know change as we go along, and it's really kind of like whenever we have wide. See, it's great when we're looking at it like this, but then we print and we find that things don't fit the way we thought they were going to. Um, I know that's usually, I mean, it never happens, right? We never have to print anything out. We're a digital, this is digital, this paperless. Don't we all know that we've been paperless since 1998? <laughs>